And final 330 game, we got Old Dominion, who's 2-2, two and two, traveling on Marshall, who's 3-0. and oh. Marshall favored by 14 on ESPN+. Plus. Grant Wilson for the Monarchs has gone 42-81, thrown for 644 yards, 7 touchdowns, 5 interceptions. Kashawn Wicks had 42 carries for 209 yards. And Kelby Williams had 13 catches for 260 yards and a touchdown. Cam Fancher for the Thundering Herd has, had 50, has gone 59-89, thrown for 612 yards, 2 touchdowns, 3 interceptions. Rasheen Ali is at 63 carries for 396 yards and 7 touchdowns. And Cade Conley is at 14 catches for 149 yards. Marshall leads the series all time 7-1. to one. Ouch, Old Dominion. Last five games have gone to Marshall from 2017 to 2022. There's been one one possession game, and that was a win by Marshall. So I think what's really interesting about Marshall, again, is they've only played three games. Two of them were against not good football teams. But they did play Virginia Tech at home last week. Now, again... Virginia Tech is arguably the worst team in all of the ACC. It looks like a really bad football team. Would not be surprised if Brent Pry is fired soon. I don't know if they give him another year. It is only his second year. But again, doesn't look like they're improving. Um, but Marshall's only 3-0 and because they, they had a bye week um, and really early on. which is a, It was a weird time to have a bye week, but I believe it was week 3 they had a bye week. Old Dominion is 2-2. Two and two. Three of these games have been one possession. Two, their two losses have been to ACC football teams. One to Wake Forest and one to Virginia Tech. Arguably should have won the Wake game. And in hindsight, probably won the Virginia Tech game. But they did not. We weren't even close for the Virginia Tech game. They led the majority of that Wake game. Again, three have been one possession. Two have been against ACC teams. Again, Old Dominion has been playing tight, close football games. Um, they came out on the bottom of one of those. But they've won the two others. Um, Old Dominion is not playing awful football. And uh, I think it was just a rough scheduling decision. I think Marshall's a good football team. I think it's it's one of the more interesting undefeated teams, or still playoff eligible football teams, because I don't think they're gritty, getting great quarterback play out of Cam Fancher, which is not something you say very often with a, a playoff eligible team in week five, and especially a group five team, because you have to be undefeated for you to be even playoff el eligible at week five. But Cam Fancher's not playing great quarterback play. He's not. A lot of this has been Rasheen Ali on the ground and I mean like Air Force isn't great, getting great quarterback play either but arguably they are like he's not slinging the rock around but he's he's handing the ball off rather effectively and he's running the ball rather, rather effectively I mean again it's Air Force you got to judge them on a different different metric um I think Marshall's playing decent football right now their defense is playing really good Rasheen Ali's a beast um I think they beat Old Dominion at home but I like Old Dominion to cover I think this game's a lot closer than 14 point spread